Hey, what is up, everyone? Great, Dansby here, and today I want to talk about the hitting in this game. And honestly, guys, I don't know about you, but let me know in that comment section. I think it is way too easy. Uh, quickly, just wanted to talk about I'm still using uh, meter pitching here. This vi video is a few days old. I'm no longer using meter pitching like I touched on the other day. I'm in analog pitching now because it's just way more precise. I feel uh, you get BS less when you pitch. Good, more so, it's it's definitely more skill based, less randomness when you miss the um, you know the accuracy bar over here. It's just for me, I just think it's it's the best way to pitch. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, you, the precision is delicious. But let's get back to what I immediately want to talk about, which is the hitting in this game. So the way it works in divisions right now is that anything underneath the division, well, it goes spring training is on veteran, and I believe regular season all the way through. Um, wild card is actually on all-star and all-star hitting is just insanely easy i think that's why a lot of us are seeing these ridiculous like hits where like um you pitch a guy inside he's late and he hits an opposite field bomb home run or an opposite field double when he's you know extremely late on the damn pitch so I think that's what's happening. I don't necessarily think it's anything more than that because I think a, a lot of us were that are playing this and play this game seriously were at least in the championship series in last year's video game. And the championship series, that's on Hall of Fame difficulty. So that's what we're used to playing. We're used to playing on Hall of Fame difficulty where your timing has to be good and you have to be spot on in order to uh, you know be able to get hits. And I think what's happening now is that All-Star is just really easy to hit on. So it just seems that, you know, players, you know, BS you all the time. And I'm trying to think back to last year. When was the last time I really played an All-Star is when I occasionally played uh, Battle Royale. Like, I don't think this was that bad of a pitch. Let, let's see, actually see this back. If I remember correctly, I don't think it was that... I mean, when I released the pitch, I didn't think it was that badly. Let's see. And that was a little fat. A little fat and he had good timing. So no, no complaints on that one, really. If I was using analog pitching, I probably would have had a, a better pitch because that randomness is, you know, eliminated quite... A bit when you're doing uh, analog pitching because you you're just more more precise on where you want to put the ball. As long as you're precise, it's going to be more to where you expected to put the ball rather than that like little random feature that they uh, put in there. This I'm pretty sure Schwarber was late on this one though. It took it the other way. So I I really think a lot of that is attributed to that it's on All Star and he got hosed by Joannis Cespedes, or as you guys like to call Joannis Cespedes. <laughs> <laughs> got hosed. Why would you try to run on him with Kyle Schwarber? That's just that's just silly talk if you ask me. Just plain old silly talk. But yeah, I mean, honestly, I really feel that the reason why it's so easy to hit is because it's an all-star. I, I So I don't really want to judge the game too much and saying it's way too easy to hit before I get to Hall of Fame mode because that's what I'm used to playing on. So once I'm in Hall of Fame difficulty and if it's still doing these same things, you're going to hear a lot more gripes from me and I'm sure a lot of other people in the community. Currently in the season right now, I'm ranked to 681. I haven't played a ranked season game in a few days. I've been doing some conquest and to tell you the truth, I know a lot of you guys want to see me stream the ranked seasons and I was going to do it yesterday, but it was freezing a little bit apparently people were saying. So it was freezing. Did I hit just an opposite field home run return? No, I did not. We start off with a leadoff uh, triple though, which is pretty damn sexy if you don't, if I don't say so myself. Um, but this game is another short game. I'm just gonna let it play through because pretty much I, I don't want to toot my own horn here, but I pretty much make everybody rage quit. I'm hitting like 400 right now online, which I think is crazy because I've been looking at some of these other guys that I, uh, that I, that I always thought were better hitters than me, like that do YouTube, like C Saint and. Um, and like uh, Kevin, uh, what's his name? Kevin, uh, this Canadian kid. I, I'm, I'm blanking on his name. Kevin something. You know, he posts a lot of uh, ranked season games. I'm looking at their statistics on this game, and actually last year's game too. And I was surprised to see that my uh, my hitting stats were significantly better. Um, <laughs> so I mean, this is what it, I mean. I understand you put you post videos. If you're not posting every video, you only see you know what you want people to see. I get that, but I know some guys are struggling. Um, C Saint said he's uh, been struggling a little bit. I think he was like, I looked at his uh, thing the other day, and he's like, uh, I don't know, he's like 15 and nine or something like that in rank season, something like that. He's like ranked like four or something. I mean, whatever. I mean, it is what it is. I have been watching his videos, and I'm seeing that um, he seems to be getting good contact all the time and <laughs> just getting screwed. Happens to me a lot too, but I guess it hasn't been happening to me as much. You know, we got my our beast, our beast here, Freddie Freeman, who's just a a monster. I know I've been saying this in every video so far, but get Freddie Freeman before he gets too expensive. He's going to be a diamond card. I'm telling you, he's going to have a great season this year. He's going to be a diamond card. I'm going to say by June, 
pick him up. He's just underneath the diamond card right now. And even if he doesn't become a diamond card, he's absolutely filthy right now against um, right-handed pitching. He's a monster. He's one of the best first basemen in the game. I don't know, but for whatever reason, his swing is just super sweet, and I can't do any wrong with him, it seems. It seems I just can't do any wrong with him. But yeah, I want to know, how is the, how is the, how do you guys find the hitting in this game compared to last year? Maybe people that have been playing on All-Star difficulty, so everybody that was in like, you know, um, the Division Series or lower last year, because it was actually the Championship Series in last year's game, where they put you on Hall of Fame mode. So anyone that was in Division Series in MLB 16 that played on All-Star or played a, a lot of Battle Royale, which is also played on All-Star, tell me how, if it feels the same, if it feels different, or does it feel easier? I don't know. I, I find the hitting right now in All-Star mode is just extremely easy. There's been a few games where I've had difficulty hitting, but generally that's with a guy that's a freaking bomb by Kip Kipnis. Um, generally, those are in games that I'm facing other really good players. And even, like, I'm trying to think. I, there was a game I played the other day where I, I was struggling to score runs, but it wasn't from a lack of putting the ball, the bat in the ball. Like, I was getting my PCI placement was great, and I was getting green. I'm going to actually post that one. It's actually a game that I lost, but it wound up being a pretty damn uh, good game, even though I was getting wrecked. I was losing 6 nothing at one point, and I made it a really, really good game. I'll, uh, it's going to probably be my next ep upload. Actually, but you'll see. I'm gonna like zoom in a bunch of times, just show it over, and it'll be like a montage of uh, great hits that I was getting screwed over by. I mean, he was he was throwing a good pitcher, and that's I think another thing that people need to realize too is that when somebody's throwing a good pitcher with good like you know hits per nine and K's per nine and things like that, that sometimes they're gonna make a good pitch. Like they got everything on their meters, and you may have hit it well, but because their hits per nine are so high, you're not gonna drive that ball out. Opposed to if the pitcher wasn't that good, let's say he has like a let's say a 65, you know, hits per nine or a 62 hits per nine, you don't actually need to be as precise, you know, on the things because his stats aren't as good. So that's how those things work. You know, it's kind of like, uh, did my game just freeze here? I don't know if that was the game that froze or, uh, or my little preview window here. My, my Sony Vegas is acting kind of weird lately as well. Um, but yeah, let me know in that comment section how... The hitting has been, you know, for you. Like I said, for me, it's been like uh, pretty, uh, pretty crap, honestly. Like in, in the sense of it's too easy. Like I don't like the hitting in this game. It's making it a little harder for me to take this game seriously. Like don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get into the World Series. Just, to, I mean, at least based upon the opponents I've been facing as of late, it seems that um, I pretty much have been just <laughs> winning. Easily, winning easily to the point where people generally just quit. You know, I've never seen quitting so often in, in a game before. It feels like it's it's Call of Duty or something. People just there, the game doesn't start out too well, and they go. I most of my games go like three innings, and my opponents quit. I'll be winning like five nothing, and they're out. You know, you hit back to back home runs or something like that, or back to back doubles, or just a few extra base hits in a row, and they just bounce. Um, you know, I have 15. I've only scored like 90 something runs on 15 wins because I never play more than like three inning games it seems you know so it's a little uh, <laughs> it's a little frustrating don't get me wrong I'll take the wins because I do want to get that Paul Goldschmidt card I want to get all the rewards I so I'm not too upset but the truth of the matter is as I would like to play some uh, deep games I have like no quality starts in this game really because of that because I never go six innings you know to get a quality start your pitcher your starting pitcher has to go six innings give up three earned runs or less that's what they need to do, and I almost never go six inning. I've played, so I've played 18 ranked season games, right? And out of those 18, only, what? I think only four went the distance? I think four went the distance. No, four didn't go the distance, two went the distance. I think two, no, no, that's a lie, that's a lie. I've had three games go the distance. Three of 18 have gone the distance, all right? I'm two and one in those games where they've gone the distance. So, it's a little, uh... It's quite a little bit ridiculous if you know do so by yourself. There is one game that I did quit because this guy was just hitting, you know, late home runs one after another, and he was winning like he was winning like eight nothing in the second inning, and I was getting frustrated because he was like being late on pitches. Like you know they don't the PCI placement is broken. They never show you actually where they hit it. But he was being late on pitches that were outside the zone and just jacking like opposite field home runs, especially when they were inside. That was really really frustrating to me, and I just didn't want to play that game anymore. So I can, I get it when like, you know, that's happening, but people quit on me when I'm like, you know, my timing is good. Like they're not getting BS. That's, you know, so it frustrates me when uh, people actually back out on, on stuff like that. But it is what it is. Nobody likes to get their, their ass kicked. I get it. But when people quit on me when they're losing like four to nothing in the second inning, that's like, come on, dude, there's plenty of game left. And the way that 
it's working right now with how easy it is to hit. Four runs is really not much. You know, eight runs, okay, that's that that's that's a, that's a little bit uh, to climb out from. But you know, four runs, you have plenty plenty of time. I've come back from uh, bigger odds. I've also lost bigger odds. Actually, one of my losses, my my only well no one of, yeah one of my uh, legit legitimate losses was like that. Actually, um, the way it worked out was the guy actually came back late. That might have been an events game. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I did lose. I did lose games. In a, yeah, it was, probably was an events. I did lose legit games and events. You know, in those three innings games. But you know, the whole thing is it's on all star difficulty, and I don't find all star difficulty fun because I just feel that the hitting is way too easy, which in turn makes the pitching difficult because you have to make perfect pitches all the time, and even then, you make perfect pitches, they're late. And they still hit home runs, even if they're out of the strike zone. So it's kind of it's kind of frustrating. I don't know. So it's like, it's like, do I want them to make some tweaks? Do I want them to make, or should I just wait until I get to Hall of Fame and see how Hall of Fame mode uh, plays? I don't I don't know. You know, there's different things to do. But there are things in this game that I have been doing that I find work uh, really well. So I think not in this at bat with Tony Gwynn here, because if I remember correctly, Tony Gwynn I pop out with. I think I'm late. Yeah, I, I don't know what the hell I was swinging at. Should let that go. That was. Absolutely a ball, but see pitches like that See, I don't know if it's gonna say I was very late or just late, but people have hit like home runs on me on shit like that Okay, I was very late that time. All right, so I think I hit and run here with uh With David Wright because Turner got a actually I didn't really want to hit and run there But I saw that Turner got a bad jump and sometimes that happens when you're playing on laggy games Like it won't register your your L2 your double tap L2 twice It's not registered. So this is actually where the guy is gonna quit because Freddie Freeman is an absolute monster I think he believes he gives me a hanging slider here. and I just take it out of the yards. So that's it, guys. So do me a favor. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button and leave it leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you think the hitting is in this game. Alright, guys. Thank you very much for checking out the video and I'll catch you guys soon. Later.